Hi, I'm Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living, and raising a family in China. In this video, we look at sea animals. Let's check it out. As always, I start my classes with a rule slide where we go over the rules and I remind the students if they follow the rules, uh, then they get a funny video or some reward at the end of the class. This video is actually for sea animals and themed around an aquarium. And it was because we were doing a field trip to an aquarium uh, in China for my school. So I wanted to go over some vocabulary uh, in English of the animals that they might see. So each one of these slides I'm introducing a new vocabulary as a presentation and I'm using the structure this is uh, because they're going to be doing lots of demonstrating and pointing so you can see the child in the bottom left hand corner she's kind of looking at these different animals and she's going to use that structure and that's the structure that I'm, I'm wanting them to use you know on the field trip so all of this is new vocabulary for them so it means that I'm going to be uh, using a lot of the vocabulary again uh, later on in the actual presentation um, giving them those options always because it is very new for them uh, once we've gone through the presentation we've done some drills asked them about what they know about the different animals like the how many legs etc and we then go into a song so there's plenty of songs on the internet if you just search for sea animals on YouTube uh, you'll get plenty of them to sing with the students. Uh, I think Ping Fong does a couple of really funny ones for them. Then we're going back into the game. So this one is just a quick comprehension practice and it's recognizing the actual uh, sea animals that we've just covered. Uh, it's multiple choice and I've actually included the vocabulary plus I've included the number as well in case they aren't, can't say some of these words. If they can say the word, that's fine. Uh, if they can't, uh, I'll let them use the number and then I'll have all the students in the class repeat the word. And we go through this very simple comprehension checking. Then we're going to go into a story. So this story has been adapted and it's kind of been adapted for our lesson. Uh, but it's a funny fish from the Oxford Reading Tree. Then we're going to break that up a little bit more and we're going to sing another song. Um, again, uh, you can find plenty of these on the internet. Just search for sea animals or under the sea and you'll get plenty of songs uh, from YouTube. Now we're playing a game that's a little bit more difficult. It's they have to identify the game. I'm telling them that they're swimming under the sea but they can't see very well. Uh, and they have to tell me what they can see. So these little binoculars, they kind of rotate around and I ask them what they're looking at and I actually, as you can see, have kept all the, the names and numbers because I know it's unfamiliar for them. So I've actually included uh, that to make it easier for them and if they don't know it, uh, then I'll be able to just repeat that language with them later. And we go through a whole bunch of these ones from before, very simply. And then to finish the class off, we're going to do a charade game. Uh, this one, they are going to just pretend to be different to the animals and the other students have to tell them what they are. So they'll pretend to have a shark fin on the head and other students have to put up their hand and say, you're a shark. I'll do a couple of different demonstrations of this and then we're going to start rotating with the students in the future. 
This one uh, particular class I actually did uh, before going to the, the field trip as part of a, another class, uh, which was I believe a review. Uh, and then after we did the field trip, we did this one again and uh, they were able to get more into it and uh, use the language more. Plus it was just reaffirming as well. And I don't mind going over this uh, as much as I can and so uh, and the students as well, they don't have a problem. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Uh, remember to check out the link below to download the PowerPoint lesson. Bye.